take you guys through a different arm workout to grow these baby triceps and baby biceps. So today we're gonna be doing a lot of uh, reps, uh, a little superset, and I'm gonna show you guys three of the exercises that I've been doing throughout my career. I think this is my strong point. So I'm gonna give you a few tips and show you a few exercises that made this arms stand out. And because they are a small group of muscle, biceps and triceps, we're only gonna be doing three exercises per muscle. So uh, I usually start with triceps whenever I train arms, but today I feel a little bit different, so we're gonna start the workout different. We're gonna be starting with biceps. We just we just warming up. We're gonna be do we're gonna be doing two warm up sets just to get some blood in there, you know, uh, get a little bit of movement to be ready to actually start the workout. Exercise. This is called spider curls. You can either do this with the dumbbells, the way I do it, or you can also do this with a straight bar or the EZ bar. I feel like doing with the dumbbells, you can focus more on each side of the of the biceps. For example, like my left biceps is actually a little bit bigger than my right arm. So, you know, yeah, exactly. I, I even measured it. It's like by uh, 0 0.5 centimeters. Even when I flex, for example, you can tell like this is fuller, right? If you look, if you look closely, it is. So, you know, you can just start with the weaker one and finish with the weaker one. So you compensate and try and get to the same balance as the other one. And pretty much it. All right, so this is gonna be my first working set. I'm gonna be doing uh, seven to eight reps, both arms. And then I'm gonna be doing some static reps like hold one and then contract with the other and do the same with the other around three four reps each side finishing with four reps both arms at the same time so total is going to be around 13 14 reps right i don't know i wasn't that, that good at school <laughs> exercise because you won't be able to get all the way up and control the movement on, on the way on the way down so just get a good weight that you can <laughs> you good <laughs> the handsome boy in the gym no 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 that's look, at this, look at this <laughs> Oh. 
t-shirts, you know, my, my own merch. Oh shit. <laughs> you know? So we're moving into second exercise. Uh, I've been a fan of this exercise. I remember when I started training, when I started going to the gym, I used to do this every, every arm second. So I'm just gonna start uh, with a small ways to kind of get used to the movement. I haven't done this in a while because I've barely been training arms, to be honest with you. So uh, we're just gonna do one as a warm-up set and then we're actually gonna start the, the working sets. The most important thing in this uh, exercise is to make sure you get a good stretch and as you get here, you hold it for like two seconds and control the movement all the way, stretch it and then repeat. Don't just move the weights like that. This is not how your bicep is gonna grow. Even with this weight, after 10 reps, I can actually feel the burn on my biceps. Such a great exercise. Isola is a bicep. Next level. Actually, see, like when I do this, this one is fuller than the right one. The shape, you see, right? Yeah. Because this is a little bit smaller. Different shape. Also different shape, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But like for people that have like one side smaller than the other, just make sure you do few more extra reps with the weaker one or with the smaller one, because it's gonna. It's gonna compensate, it's gonna balance it out, you know? So, more reps with the weaker one. So, this is my last exercise for the biceps. I love doing this exercise. The reasoning being is because you can get a good stretch of the biceps and you can also get a good contraction of the peak that gives you that 3D roundness and with a lot of exercises, a lot of curls, you can hit the biceps, of course, but you can't really hit the outer side of the biceps. But with this exercise, you can actually hit, and you will see while I'm doing the, side, the exercise that you can see the outer side of the, of the biceps working, which gives you that dense look, that full, full look. So we're gonna be doing 10 to 12 reps on this exercise, and I'm gonna be supersetting the cable rope curls with some, uh, curls using the straight bar but instead of doing the normal grip the you know the standard grip I'm just gonna do reverse grip so we can hit the outer uh, part of the biceps and uh, get that dense 3d look Another superset killer. Oh shit. On this exercise, uh, the forearm is also getting involved. So if you want to work forearm at the same time, this is a great exercise to add in. Ooh. Another tip I would say on the cable rope uh, curls is to, as soon as you get here, make sure you open up so you can get the full contraction of the peak. Because otherwise, if you just don't open up, of course it's still gonna work, but you don't get the full contraction, 100%. So we need to grow these guns.
this is going to be the biceps, which means it's tricep time. 